the Madison School Board reinstating a local principal after being fired in September. And a warning from healthcare professionals how we can slow the spread of multiple illnesses in our community. And it's a cold and windy start to the day, but the good news, it's only going to last one day. I'll time out those temperatures today, but how warm will actually be tomorrow. Hey, good morning and thanks for waking up with us on this Saturday. I'm Shane Hogan. He's Greg Barnhart. We got a lot to get to this morning, but before we get to our top stories, let's get a check on that weather. It's a cold, breezy day today, yes. but... We should see some relief soon. Yeah, it's going to be a cold start to the day, but the weekend Sunday looks pretty good. But look at those wind chills, 16 below at Rochester. It's even colder as you go further north in northern Minnesota and North Dakota, too. So single digits down here in southern Wisconsin. The winds have subsided a little bit. Advisories are pretty much done for everything except east of Madison, and that only goes to 9 a.m. Otherwise, the winds have, there's your temperature drop in the last uh, 24 hours. Quite a difference, as we expected yesterday morning, was in the 30s. And there's the temperatures. They are not going to warm too much. The winds will subside, but the temperatures are only going to get up into about the mid-20s for most locations, maybe lower 20s up west of La Crosse, and then they'll cool off later this evening. Good news is overnight they won't be as cold. There's your winds have started to go down. They should this evening. Clear skies, 26 there at Madison, La Crosse. The same story, the winds should start decreasing, but only in the low 20s for highs. Clear skies, too. Out to the west, it's clear until you get well to the west. There's another system. That one will be tracking for Monday. But in the meantime, before that gets here, I'll, try, I'll time out how warm we're going to get tomorrow, which means back to more seasonal conditions. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you, Greg. We'll check back in in uh, just a little bit. So they all voted. They all voted. And you're going to get your back pay too, boss. Except for three weeks. Except for three weeks. Yeah, minus three weeks, but we'll pitch in. <laughs> A celebration downtown following the announcement that a Madison school principal is getting his job back two months after he was initially fired. The school board overruled the decision to terminate Dr. Jeffrey Copeland in a meeting Friday night. Tahalil Mohadeen was there and shares why for many of his school staff members, it's cause for celebration. I move to reverse the decision to deny Dr. Jeffrey Copeland's step one grievance and reinstate Dr. Copeland. After hours of deliberation, the Madison School Board of Education voted unanimously to reinstate Senate Middle School's principal. It was a decision board members called incredibly challenging, but one that was met with great excitement. <laughs> Copeland staff had been pushing the district to reconsider his termination for months, going before the school board twice to praise his performance and the positive impact he had on Senate. As a parent of two Senate students and as a staff member, I feel great. Thank you. Thank you. I feel that this was a long time in coming. I feel this is uh, what was needed to bring him back. Dr. Jeffrey Copeland was initially fired after he accidentally left a voicemail for a job applicant. With some controversial comments, the district called inappropriate. Outside of Friday's school board special closed session, teachers waited for more than two hours to see their principal reinstated. News they say was well worth the wait. There's someone that I think uh, instills a lot of hope in our students and our staff, and we are very excited to have him back. The school board did impose some disciplinary action to include three weeks without pay as a suspension, as well as professional development and a written reprimand. Reporting at Madison School Headquarters, Tahrir Mahdeen, News 3 Now. In a statement, the MMSSD school board writes, in part, quote, after a thorough review of this matter, we believe this decision acknowledged all voices, respected the grievance process, and acknowledged the seriousness of the incident, end quote. In more local news, a Catholic parish staffer is in jail this morning after his arrest for suspected child sexual assault. Rajnal Ramat was working as a religious brother at St. Olaf's Church in DeForest before his arrest Thursday afternoon. He was booked into the Dane County Jail on tentative charges of sexual exploitation of a child, sexual assault of a student, and child enticement. But he has not been formally charged. The Diocese of Madison confirmed the arrest in a statement saying they were made aware of the accusations on Sunday and immediately got law enforcement involved and put Ramat on administrative leave. They say he had arrived from Pakistan in June to work in the Diocese of Madison. 
A former Milwaukee County elections official is now facing, facing several election-related charges. 45-year-old Kimberly Zapata is being represented by an attorney from a conservative law firm that helped former state Supreme Court Justice Michael Gableman in his review of the 2020 election. Zapata is charged with misconduct in public office, a felony, as well as three misdemeanor counts of making a false statement to obtain an absentee ballot. Governor Tony Evers is ordering a special election to fill the 8th Senate district vacancy after the retirement of Republican State Senator Alberta Darling. The election will be on April 4th in conjunction with this 2023 spring election. If a primary is necessary, it will be held on February 21st. Circulation of nomination papers for candidates began Friday. This morning, healthcare professionals are warning of how rapidly both the flu and RSV are spreading in our community on top of the COVID pandemic. The trifecta of respiratory illnesses is filling hospital beds across the nation. And as our McKenna Alexander explains, Madison hospitals are no exception. RSV and the flu. It's a tale of two viruses straining a healthcare system still reeling from years of the COVID pandemic. Yeah, hospitals are still strained, still really busy, and this is just not uh, in Dane County. This is a, the whole state of Wisconsin. This is our region. This is our country. Here in Wisconsin, 2,500 new RSV cases were reported last week alongside 2,300 new influenza cases. The respiratory illnesses are affecting both children and adults, meaning this holiday season, a majority of the population is at risk of getting sick. Especially our hospitalized patients, our pediatric population, we're seeing more RSV, and in our adult population, we're probably seeing more influenza. As one virus begins to trend down, in this case RSV, another trends up, namely the flu. In an outpatient environment like the emergency department, urgent cares, and primary care, uh, we're starting to get to see more influenza now than even RSV. Dr. Ross says 27% of patients being tested for viral illnesses are coming back positive for the flu. Across the nation, flu season is just beginning, meaning numbers this high, this early, are causing concern among healthcare professionals. Um, within one week here at Meritor, we've seen a 100 120% increase in our hospitalized influenza cases. With UW Health also reporting a major spike in flu cases, with 422 reported in the last week of November, up from 190 just the week prior. This compared to November 2019, the last pre-COVID flu season, when fewer than 10 influenza cases were reported during the entire month. A respiratory virus season hitting harder than normal, meaning taking care of yourself and being proactive in your health is especially important ahead of holiday gatherings. Just uh, being smart, taking care of yourself, washing your hands, uh, keeping hydrated, uh, getting good sleep, um, and making sure you're taking care of the community by not going out when you're sick. News 3 did reach out to SSM Health to learn what it's seeing for both RSV and flu cases, but did not receive a response back. Tomorrow, the city of Waukesha will hold its annual Christmas parade. It's the first one since the attack last year that killed six people and injured dozens more. To make everyone safe, feel safe and relaxed, one man is bringing therapy dogs that he has rescued and trained. Bill Krause uses the dogs to bring good cheer to people year-round. He works a full-time job doing the overnight shift, then visits nursing homes, prisons and shelters and rehab centers all across the state in the afternoons comfort and they bring down anxiety your heart rate i could get a nurse in here she could take somebody's blood pressure and once the dog's on the lab take it again and it'll drop bill is also bipolar and wants to be an example of how to overcome mental health struggles Students on UW Platteville's Richland Center campus are fighting to keep in person classes. The UW system said they wanted to end those face to face classes due to low enrollment there, but now those students are circling a petition to save their campus. Officials estimate about 64 students and 25 employees will have to go elsewhere for classes next year. Students and faculty at the campus will be moved to either UW Platteville's main campus or its Baraboo campus. In person classes are set to end on July 1st of next year. Well, still ahead this morning, it's time for the best of the best how to nominate in La Crosse County. And you're taking a live look at our tower cam. Greg's got the full forecast when we get back. Uber offices. One call, that's all.
It's the High V Red Hot Weekend Baking Sale this Friday through Sunday. Four pounds of that smart sugar, only $1.48. Chex cereal, only $1.99. And Skippy peanut butter, only $1.77. Scan the code, get deals, only at High V. Do you need help paying for health care? As a health insurance navigator, my job is to help people find affordable or low cost options. We find the best deals, whether it's from healthcare.gov or state coverage like Badger Care Plus. And you can reach us in person or by phone, text, or online. Call the 211 helpline to find free local help or go to wiscover.com to learn more. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. Attention all women who have been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. If you or a loved one used talcum powder for routine feminine hygiene and later suffered from ovarian cancer, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. The use of talc-based powders has been linked to ovarian cancer. Call right now. Call 1-800-982-8758. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. It's the High V Red Hot Weekend Baking Sale this Friday through Sunday. High V Brown Sugar or Powdered Sugar only a dollar sixty-eight. Nestle Toll House Morsels only two eighteen, and five pounds of High V Flour only a dollar sixty-eight. Only at High V. News three now. First warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, definitely a cold start to the weekend, but Sunday actually looks more mild. And then if you look at past Sunday to see if there's any travel issues coming up for the next week, really we're not seeing too much other than once we get through today. We have a chance for some snow or rain come Monday and in Tuesday for both locations, but none of this really poses a significant threat. And that looks like for the whole rest of the week, too. Looks fairly, some precipitation chances, but nothing significant. Winds really have subsided, so the only remaining advisories really are for southeastern Wisconsin. That's till 9 a.m. Otherwise, we're starting to see the winds drop down a little bit. We've had one push of cold air come through. We're going to have another one come down. That's going to be for the Monday. That provides our next opportunity for snow. Once again, it looks like north and west of La Crosse is a better shot to get that snow. Not a significant system. We still got the split jet, one here south, one to the north. Really prevents really us getting a strong, really long-lasting snowstorm or anything like that in the meantime. But that could change by the end of next week. We'll take a look at that here a little bit. Otherwise, today the winds will start turning right back around from the west and then southwest tonight, which will help the temperatures keep up. A few clouds pass to the north because of a system there. Otherwise, we'll see tomorrow the winds start picking back up from the south. But overall, it should be a pleasant Sunday with temperatures getting back to seasonal levels. We'll see a system begin to approach western areas here towards the later half of Sunday into Sunday night. That's the one that we're looking for tracking for some snow coming into the picture, maybe even some light rain as we get towards Monday. That's the thing we'll keep an eye on. For the meantime, for today, temperatures really not climbing to the mid-20s, maybe getting up into the low 20s in certain areas. Not much of an improvement once they start off today. The winds will die down, so the wind chills won't be as bad this afternoon. Tonight, the winds turn around, as you can see, so temperatures will drop off, but not as much as last night. As you wake up tomorrow morning, more 20s, but overall, less wind chill. So actually, that'll feel much nicer. And then, like I said, tomorrow, winds turn around, so the temperatures will climb back up to more seasonal levels, upper 30s, maybe even a 40 in certain locations, but kind of right where we should be for this time of the year. As we saw, then we get closer to Sunday night. You can see the winds start picking up. The clouds start picking up also, so 
Going into your Monday morning, it'll probably be almost close to freezing as you wake up because of a cloud cover and that system approaching too. So as you look at the 10 day, there's your chances come in for Monday. Overall, not a real high chance. Looks like most of the snow will be north and west of La Crosse. Madison could be a mix. La Crosse also could be a mix depending on the timing of that. Um, and then we have just on and off chances, rounds of chances through the week. Nothing looks significant at this point until we get maybe to the Thursday, Friday, or even Saturday, Sunday. So there's still a lot of questions to be asked about that. But overall, for this next 10 days, it looks seasonable temperatures, no cold air, and precipitation chances through the week, but no travel issues as, as we can see of right now for most of this week right now. Yeah, and, and you know, more consistency with the yeah. temperatures. We've kind of fluctuated these last we few have. weeks, so it, it'll be it's, nice to get some consistency. It's but. consistent. Like I said, we mentioned that December 3rd, 1990 was when we had the blizzard around here, and it was 65 a week before <laughs> that hit. And then I remember because I was in middle school, and then a week after it was 47. So what year? 1990. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Don't, I'm not going to make it. it. No, it. I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah, no, it'll be good. Get back to a little it more seasonal. Be. But, it I is. mean, uh, you know, maybe some folks are looking for some snow here. It's want to get in the it's Christmas getting spirit. getting there, but I think towards the end of next week, weekend, yeah. it's looking more promising okay. right now. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. Yep. Thank you, Greg. Well, a judge threw out one of the arguments made by a La Crosse voter who claims the La Crosse County Sheriff's race recount was unfair. Democrat John Siegel won the election by 176 votes, and Republican Fritz Leinfelder conceded. Then, one of Leinfelder's supporters filed a lawsuit. News 8 Now's Julius Rahr spoke to the La Crosse woman who says the county clerk did not conduct the recount fairly. In an election, the winner is decided by voters. This election is concluded. John Siegel has been elected as the sheriff-elect for the county of La Crosse. According to Wisconsin law, if the losing candidate loses by 1% of the votes or less, they can request a recount. We wanted to make sure that we had a, a full and accurate count. Republican Fritz Leinfelder filed an objection to the recount, but then conceded. La Crosse County voter Mary Jo Werner says the recount process was unfair, which is why she chose to file a lawsuit against County Clerk Jenny Dankmeyer. The process of the recount was different than what I understood it should be. It didn't appear to be uh, very transparent. News 8 now asked Werner why she felt the recount was not transparent. You mentioned transparency and fairness. You know, what part of this process did you think was not transparent or fair? I, I, I think we should. I yeah. think I, I think we've we've given the extent of the interview that we went to. Werner did not elaborate. In the suit, Werner alleges Dankmeyer disenfranchised her vote by not rejecting some absentee ballots and ballots cast by college students. And largely, this is a question about the interpretation of Wisconsin law. Werner argues that Wisconsin law says any candidate or any elector who is aggrieved by the recount can appeal. Judge Elliot Levine says the law is clear. Werner can only appeal a recount when it is specifically about a referendum. That it may be brought by any candidate or any elector. If it ended right there, you might be right. But it didn't end right there. It goes on to say, any elector when for a referendum. Mary Jo Werner was not a candidate for the sheriff's race. And when he conceded, the process in 901 was done. Meaning she cannot appeal the recount. Werner can still argue those parts of her case. Both parties have 30 days to file their briefs regarding it. They will return to court after the judge reviews them. Well, we are coming up on the end of the year, which means it's time to highlight the best of the best. The best of La Crosse County nominations are open now through New Year's Eve. You can nominate a business, organization, or person who you think is going above and beyond. Then in February, vote for the top five in each category. The winners will be announced April 3rd. You can make a nomination at news8000.com. A Christmas classic is returning to the theater at UW La Crosse. The Department of Theater is performing A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. You can see it this weekend and next weekend. Tickets are available on UWL's website. You can also find a link over on news8000.com. Members of multiple law enforcement agencies were out helping Santa prepare for Christmas. Friday morning officers went to the Farm and Fleet on Stoughton Road to shop for their communities. Using wish lists given to them by their organizations, they loaded up their squad cars with tons of toys and gifts, which will be donated to various organizations around the area. 
Well, still ahead this morning, some relief at the pump here in Madison, the encouraging sign for drivers. And there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will Loper shares his picks in Three Things to Watch. There are still too many bad burgers out there. So Arby's is running that Wagyu Steakhouse Burger back. Arby's, we have the meat. After a lifetime in the jewelry business, Pete Dinney is retiring. And Dinney's Jewelers Retirement Cell is in progress. Save up to 60% off store-wide. All must go. All bridal jewelry. All colored stone rings. All silver jewelry. All pearls. All diamond bracelets and pendants. Absolutely every finished piece is up to 60% off. Pete Dinney and family are saying thank you, Middleton, for 40 years of support. Join us for our retirement celebration. Pete Dinney is retiring. And Dinney's Jewelry Retirement Cell is in progress. Save up to 60% off. All must go. 1903 Cayuga Street, Middleton. Need life insurance? Select Quote found Jacob, 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And Select Quote found his wife, Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Our secret? At Select Quote, we aggressively comparison shop up to 10 highly rated companies to find you the company with the best rates. Why pay more? Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Sometimes a cough isn't just a cough, so it's better to be prepared. Keeping Binax Now handy makes it easy to test. And self-test kits may be reimbursable with no copay through your health plan. With Binax Now, you'll have reliable results in 15 minutes with the self-test that features the same technology doctors use and detects multiple variants, including Omicron BA5. So you can always be prepared with Binax Now, the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. If you're planning a private party or need catering, why not treat yourself to the best of Madison? Buck and Honey's, seven special event spaces and the award-winning catering you deserve. Make it Buck and Honey's, Monona, Sun Prairie, and Wanakee. Look, it's easy to say things. Anyone can do that. Look closer. Meaning what you say, that's a little harder and a little harder to find. But at U.S. Cellular, when we say you get unlimited data for $29.99 per line, we don't mean only if you get four lines. We mean $29.99 per line, even one. Plus, every plan is price protected for every customer. Yeah, it's a cold start to your Saturday, but the good news is Sunday should be actually be more mild. Today, just the wind chills this morning. The winds will die down. Temperatures won't move much, but tomorrow, 30s near 40. We do have light snow or rain chances coming in Monday. Doesn't look to be a huge travel impact. The main snow will probably be north and west of La Crosse. Could be some mix there, too, but not, overall, not a significant system. Then the winds tracking these winds out. They should slowly subside this afternoon. We'll get below 10 miles per hour by this evening, so an overnight they'll remain light. So that's the good news, the positive news on the winds. But Unfortunately, the temperatures won't budge much, so that's why we're only looking up to mid-20s. Madison, we will warm up to the upper 30s. The next chance of rain or snow comes Monday. Very light chance. Same for lacrosse, too. Snow, better chance Monday. And then the rest of the week, on and off, chances of light precipitation, but nothing at this time looks significant or should impact travel, at least through the mid part of the week. All right, right thank you very much. We'll check back in in just a little bit. Well, there's clearly no shortage of films and shows streaming nowadays. Our Will Loper sharing a few of the best in this weekend's Three Things to Watch. How long have you and Pops been married? 1,500 years. We should switch seats. How long have you guys been married? 1,500 years. Did that go better this time? She looks up in the middle of something up, up that way. You're right. Let's do it again. Take three. 
opener. Newly streaming on Netflix is the film Senior. So many people, they know Robert Downey Jr., but they don't know Robert Downey Sr. He's a talented underground filmmaker named Robert Downey. The documentary follows Robert Downey Jr. as he takes a look at the life and career of his father. It's a bit of a foray into trying to understand your dad. You're still young. That's you feel like you understand him now? I have a feeling I'll know a lot more <laughs> when we're done. Senior is streaming on Netflix now. We're still happy with the title Senior, are we not? Yeah, I like it, but we can we can do better. Ah. It looks paid for the tickets. Not bad, huh? <laughs> New to buy on Video On Demand and Rent on Tuesday is the film Triangle of Sadness. It's always yes sir, yes ma'am. Enjoy the moment. No, no, no. <laughs> the film follows a cruise, highlighting the gap between the rich and wealthy and the middle to lower class staff, and contains several of the most unhinged sequences of the year, including one that involves seasickness and seafood. The saints, do you think it's possible to wash them? I think that's possible, ma'am, because this is a motorized vessel. Yeah. So we don't have any sales. Triangle of Sadness is available to rent on digital platforms now and available to rent this Tuesday. Newly streaming on Disney Plus is the series Willow. My brother was abducted. The world needs you again. It needs your magic. Follow me. Warwick Davis returns in the sequel to the 1988 film, following six heroes banding together to save their world. Trolls. I'm so miffed. The first two episodes of Willow are streaming on Disney Plus now. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for Weekend Mornings. Our thanks to Will Loper for putting that together as always. Well, coming up next this morning, all eyes on Georgia ahead of the runoff election. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, and the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. <laughs> from Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to bruxnightguard.com and order yours today. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to bring you my biggest bedding sale ever, just in time for Christmas. Get my Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as $29.98. A set of pillowcases, only $9.98. Rejuvenate your bed with a MyPillow mattress topper for as low as $99.99. We also have blankets in a variety of sizes, colors, and styles. We even have blankets for your pets. Get duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows, and so much more. All at the biggest discounts ever. I know my bedding products are perfect for you, and I'm extending my money-back guarantee for Christmas until March 1st, 2023, making them the perfect gifts for your friends, your family, and everyone you know. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen, use your promo code, and you'll get huge discounts on all my pillow bedding products, including my Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as $29.98. Get all your shopping done now while quantities last.
This holiday, shop sparkling gift sets from Pandora Jewelry at a special price. Oh, oh, mm -mm. It's Santa. We got a problem. Political focus on Georgia ahead of the Senate runoff election. And relief at the pump. Gas prices fall below a significant number here in Madison. Yeah, a blustery day as you step outside this morning as a cold front passed through the night. I'll time out those when those winds will subside. Whether we'll see those temperatures climb above freezing today. Good morning and thanks for joining us on weekend mornings. It's a cold Saturday morning. I'm Shane Hogan. Before we get to our top stories this morning, let's send it over to Greg with a check outside. Hey, Greg. Hey, Shane. Yeah, it's a cold morning. Like I said, compared to what we saw yesterday, Friday, definitely a change. The winds out still are breezy, but they are starting to go down a little bit. Still 15 to 20 mile per hour with some higher gusts. Stronger winds are actually out to the southeast and closer to Milwaukee area, but that has kept the wind chill down. Still the visor to the east, but everything else is expired, so we're in good news for there for the winds. Temperature change, you can see the last 24 hours, 34 down to 11. So definitely a chilly drop in temperatures. Same story lacrosse. 24 hours ago, it was 37, 18 was that time at 7 a.m. So wind chill is definitely the story, but you're going to track these wind chills as they go through the day. They should start improving from what they are right now until the afternoon. We should be back in the teens and more single digits of teens instead of below zero here by this afternoon once the winds die down. Overall, you see temperatures, they're going to improve not that much into the mid-20s to the south, maybe lower 20s out to the west towards Rochester, but overall well below average and, of course, colder than what we saw yesterday. They'll drop a little bit as we go this evening. The good news is we won't see a big drop off tonight, though. They'll kind of hold steady is kind of where they are right now. Right now, as you look out to the west, there's nothing but clear skies, cold conditions, a lot of cold air, but we have no precipitation, no fronts or anything like that coming. There's one coming more for Monday, Tuesday. I'll be timing that out a bit later in the broadcast. Exactly and how much we might warm up tomorrow also. All right, Greg, thank you very much. We'll check back in in just a bit. In politics, all eyes are on Georgia ahead of next Tuesday's Senate runoff. Early voting closed in the state yesterday, and some believe record turnout could give Democrats an edge. CBS's Bradley Blackburn has the latest on the race and a big change coming to the 2024 presidential primaries. Lines wrapped around the building at some Georgia polling sites Friday as voters made their choice between Democratic incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker. Democracy is at stake. Georgia broke a single day early voting record Friday and some 1.8 million Georgians have already cast ballots ahead of Tuesday's runoff. That's thought to favor Warnock who has pushed supporters to vote early. We cannot let our foot off the gas, not, not even for a moment. You vote for me, we all get to the promised land. Hanging in the balance whether Democrats will have a true majority in the U.S. Senate. Former President Obama has been on the campaign trail and in Massachusetts, President Biden stopped by a union phone bank Friday that was making calls to Georgia. We have to win this election. It will give us 51 votes. And that changes the dynamic of anybody being able to say they want to change what we're going to do. 2024. Another big political change, Democrats are switching the order of their presidential nomination process in 2024, choosing to make South Carolina's primary first ahead of the traditional starting state, Iowa. President Biden pushed for the change to give diverse voters a bigger voice. It's only going to help make the American story real for all Americans. The GOP says Iowa will stay first on their calendar. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News. Georgia and Michigan will also join the list of early presidential primary states for Democrats, along with Nevada and New Hampshire. President Biden also signed a bill to avert a nationwide rail shutdown. The president said the bill will get rail workers a raise, bonuses, and protect other sectors of the economy. The president also acknowledged that while this bill does not have the additional paid sick days rail workers wanted, he promised to fight to get rail workers and all workers in the U.S. guaranteed paid sick days. And some good news for drivers, gas prices continue to drop. We found some stations here in Madison with unleaded gas 
posted below $3 a gallon. Wisconsin AAA says the average price for gas in the state is $3.06, and that is much lower than the national average of $3.45 per gallon. President Biden is assuring that the nation, uh, that the U.S. economy is chugging along, but a new jobs report showed that high inflation remains a threat. The latest data from the Department of Labor shows the U.S. economy added a better than expected 263,000 jobs in November. The unemployment rate remains at 3.7%. Twitter has again suspended rapper Kanye West after he tweeted a picture of a swastika merged with the Star of David. It is the second time this year that he has been suspended for the, from the platform over anti-Semitic posts. And right-wing conspiracy theorist Alex, Alex Jones filed for personal Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in a Texas court on Friday. Jones estimates his assets are worth between $1 to $10 million and his liabilities are between $1 to $10 billion. The InfoWars host's primary company, Free Speech Systems, also filed for bankruptcy protection back in July. Well, still ahead, how to make holiday travel more budget-friendly. Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. We all share the same roads, but when an accident happens, we don't always share the same consequences. Big trucks can cause big damage. Injuries can be severe and may require a lifetime of care and compensation. Call Gruber Law Offices today. We have been fighting and winning for people injured by big trucks for more than 30 years. Let us do the same for you. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. Ready, Dad? All charged up. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright with a special offer on select Ford vehicles. Choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. So much. And that's how Ford is helping you proud of you, kids. shine bright. <laughs> this season, choose flex buy on a 2022 Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% financing for 66 months at your local Ford dealer and shine bright. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. You can meet with an InventHelp representative who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. And InventHelp's data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to review new ideas. Take action and get the help you need from InventHelp. 800-550-5543. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. A Madison mom says her special needs child was injured permanently when her school didn't follow a plan for her care. I knew that there was something very wrong. Now she's set to sue the Madison School District. If it was your child, would you feel comfortable? News 3 Now investigates Monday at 10. News 3 Now's Call for Action team gets results. We're taking action for you. Nearly 700 cases closed. More than a half million dollars recovered. And we're not finished yet. When you need help, call for action only on News 3 Now. Yeah, clouds have cleared out a little bit, so it's allowed the temperatures to fall back. Even La Crosse now is 11 degrees, 18 in Madison. The wind chills are even colder with sub-zero for La Crosse and getting almost negative 10 as you get further to Rochester. So that's the big picture. But skies are clear to the west, which is the good news because we're not going to see any clouds. The winds are going to drop off. Temperatures won't improve much. Only 26 as we get to Madison. 
Same thing with lacrosse too. They'll improve to only 21, so it'll be a real cold day, but the winds will start pushing back a little bit, so the wind chill will improve as we get to the afternoon. Good news is tomorrow we're going to warm up to about average, which is the upper 30s. Most locations might see a chance of rain or snow come Monday. Better shot for snow north and west of lacrosse. Doesn't seem to be a huge issue. And then we have on and off rain chances or snow chances through the week. No significant travel impacts expected. Temperatures pretty much near seasonal levels. We'll have to watch out for next weekend because it could be a more significant system. Maybe that could impact us. All right, Greg, thank you very much. United Airlines and Boeing reportedly are close to a mega deal that would upgrade passenger service here in the U.S. The Wall Street Journal reports United is close to finalizing an agreement to buy dozens of Boeing 787 Dreamliners. It would be worth billions of dollars. But if you're taking any of those airlines out of Madison's airport for the holidays, it might be a little pricey. A new study found Dane County Regional Airport was the most expensive in the country. But as experts told Arman Rahman, there are ways to beat the fares for your holiday flights. As holiday travel season prepares to take off, travelers may want to rethink where their flight takes off. Smart Asset named Dane County Regional Airport the most expensive in the country, with fares soaring about $140 above the national average. The airport doesn't have any direct control or influence over ticket pricing. But airport officials say they're not to blame. Uh, each airline that does operate here, they're really tenants of the airport. So each airline sets their own pricing, they set their own schedule, they, they set everything to conduct business business. They simply rent the space. Which means it may be up to you to save money on travel this season. The best answer depends on the individual. UW-Madison holiday travel expert Laura Albert suggests booking 60 days early and overall being flexible. Sometimes changing the departure or return date by just a day can lead to hundreds of dollars in savings. You can also drive to O'Hare or Milwaukee airports. You can potentially take a direct flight which has a time savings. Yet many travelers here don't like changing flight paths like that. I've uh, explored the alternatives of flying out of Milwaukee or Chicago, but I often find that the drive and paying for parking isn't worth the extra expense that you're paying here. While driving to another airport like Chicago or Milwaukee may seem like a cheaper option right now, Dane County Airport officials say making this airport busier and more competitive for airlines could actually lower fares in the longer term. The more airlines see that there's demand, out of Madison, the more they'll service Madison, so the more volume. Generally, we see ticket prices drop with the higher volumes. And for these graduate students, the convenience outweighs the cost. It is really nice here. It's clean and it's just like a nice atmosphere. And super fast, like you yeah. can do security in like five, ten minutes. In Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Experts also recommend getting price change alerts on your phone through apps like Skyscanner and Hopper to know when it's the best time to book your flights. A lot of good tips there ahead of a very busy holiday travel season coming up. All right, still ahead this morning, a statewide rivalry returns to the court today. Can't wait to talk about that when we get back. And you're taking a live look over downtown La Crosse. Not a cloud in the sky. Greg's tracking those cold temps. Hopefully some relief coming in that area when we get back. portion of News 3 Now is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Warren's, Wisconsin. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. If you or a loved one were stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987 and were later diagnosed with cancer, Parkinson's disease, or other serious health effects, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call right now to find out if you qualify. Call 1-800-336-0524. 1-800-336-0524. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. 
to donate today. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to bring you my biggest bedding sale ever, just in time for Christmas. Get my Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as $29.98. A set of pillowcases, only $9.98. Rejuvenate your bed with a MyPillow mattress topper for as low as $99.99. We also have blankets in a variety of sizes, colors, and styles. We even have blankets for your pets. Get duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows, and so much more. All at the biggest discounts ever. I know my bedding products are perfect for you, and I'm extending my money-back guarantee for Christmas until March 1st, 2023, making them the perfect gifts for your friends, your family, and everyone you know. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen, use your promo code, and you'll get huge discounts on all my pillow bedding products, including my Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as $29.98. Get all your shopping done now while quantities last. gift sets from Pandora Jewelry at a special price. New 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, we had a cold start to Saturday, but uh, taking a look at what we're expecting for the next four days, especially with travel-wise, we're not seeing a lot of impacts for travel for at least the midweek right now. Like I said, this morning you still got the winds and the wind chill to deal with you're out and about. But other than that, we do have a little bit of a system come through Monday and even Tuesday too, and that will continue. But none of these really bear too much watching in regards to snowfall or rain. It's going to be fairly weak systems. As you can see, if we look at the big picture, we still got the split jet, the one to the south, carving out that system out to the west, and then one to the north where the cold air has been locked but a piece of it has come down south that came through yesterday, today, excuse me, then we'll kind of back off and then we got another one come through Sunday into Monday. Most of it still stays north. We still got the split jet, so still not expecting any strong systems. And when you play this out through most of the week, we really don't see much of a change in this pattern until we get towards the end of next week. There we start seeing some changes with the jet. You can see it really starting to carve off to the southwest heading northeast. That's more favorable for some stronger systems, something to keep an eye on as we get towards the end of the week into the weekend. For today, winds will just start to subside this, this afternoon. We have a little bit of cloud cover heading towards the north with a system, nothing to be expected. Later tonight, we should see the winds start to turn around to the south. So overnight, the temperatures will not drop off as much as they probably could be under those conditions right now. And then tomorrow, more southwest winds will start to improve under clear skies. That means temperatures should climb up to about upper 30s, to mid 30s, maybe even a 40, which is closer to average. Then we have a system approaching by Monday. We talked about that snow chance. Here it comes in. It's going to spread clouds and then maybe some precipitations we get towards Monday morning, Monday afternoon. Once again, this could change, but this is fairly light, not to be expected much with this, but it's something to keep in mind as you go on your Monday. So overall, as we time out today, temperatures not going to climb up much, mid 20s, low 20s, may stay below 20s as you go further towards Rochester. Winds will subside, still a wind chill this afternoon, and then tonight, temperatures will, will drop back into the teens, maybe single digits, but then they'll start climbing probably towards morning as the clouds and the winds start improving, and then tomorrow, much better conditions too. Way to end the work, end of the weekend. We're gonna get up near 40 in some areas, mid 30s, others close to what we should be this time of year under plenty of sunshine and light southwest winds, nothing, anything strong. And then the cloud cover should start proving. Here's the idea of kind of snow amounts with that Monday system, really not much, less than an inch. It's just a matter of timing. If this occurs at any commute time, could pose a little bit of an issue, but for right now, we're not expecting much. To go further south, probably more mixed precipitation if it falls. Once again, most areas will probably stay dry and just cloud cover for that. So you look at the 10 day, we get up to upper 30s there for uh, La Crosse. Some showers, there's another system, Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday, it's hard to say with all these weak systems coming through. We have to pay attention towards the end of the week. You notice the temperature is pretty seasonable. A little dip here Tuesday, Wednesday, but nothing unheard of for early December. And the same story for La Crosse, maybe hitting 40 by Monday, a rain or snow shower. Chances fairly light, but then you notice the temperatures pretty close to where they should be uh, through the end of the week. And then a couple systems or one system that to pay attention to 
towards the end of the work week and maybe to the weekend that could provide more opportunity for snow. But for right now, the patterns has been stuck that all the systems out west have been producing the snow for the mountains and the valleys out there. We've been kind of in that split flow, so we really haven't had too yeah. much snow. Nothing, Dry, but nothing kind of colder. No. Yeah, that's right. And then we're kind of hanging right around 40, I think. You yeah. know, almost people are going to be pretty comfortable it's with that. It's very comfortable for this time of year. We should be about 35, 36 degrees right now. So that's okay. a little bit above, but overall nothing to speak of for early December. All right, cool. Well, we'll check back in in just a little bit, Greg. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Well, hey, the reigning national champs, they're no strangers to deep runs in the tournament. Wisconsin has been to three straight Final Fours, and their opponent, Quinnipiac, zero history in the volleyball big dance. It's their first trip. So this one, well, it went as expected. The Badgers haven't lost since September 25th. It's pretty remarkable. Sarah Franklin, Devin Robinson, they keep the W's coming. First set, Franklin gets up to get down for the first point. She finished with eight kills. Then later in the set, Izzy Ashburn sets up Robinson. My goodness, she can smoke that ball. Team high, 11 kills for her. Wisconsin brings out the brooms. They win in straight sets. The Badgers will face the TCU Horn Frogs. That's later today in a regular season matchup. Uh, Wisconsin swept TCU in the first match of the season way back in August. TCU beat Washington last night to advance in four sets. The Badger women's hockey team returned to the ice after a week off, and Wisconsin gets to ease back into the WCHA play with a series against Bemidji State. The Beavers have just four wins on the season, and UW outscored them 15-1 to in their series earlier this season. And the scoring continued. Badgers already up a goal. Maddie Wheeler finds Casey O'Brien. She lights up the lamp, makes it 2-0, and later in the first, Wisconsin up 3-0, and Lacey Eden fires home the one-timer, part of the four-goal first. Badgers get the win 13-1, to one, the final 13 goals in a hockey game. That is remarkable. Well, the Wisconsin men were hosting Michigan on Sooner night at the Kohl Center. The Badgers were down 2-0 in the first, but come storming back. Wisconsin on the power play, and Brock Cofield finds the back of the net to tie this one up at two. Still tied in the second. Carson Kuhlman flips one in from just inside the blue line to give the Badgers their first lead of the game. And Wisconsin knocking off the fifth-ranked team in the country. They win that one 6-3. to three. Wisconsin men's basketball team left the Kohl Center with a bad taste in their mouth on Tuesday. The Badgers finally putting it together on offense, scoring 75 points, shooting nearly 43% from three, and lost. The good news, though, the Badgers don't have a lot of time to dwell on that one. Today, I'm excited about this, everybody. They renew their rivalry with Marquette. This group can't wait to get back out there. To come back, you know, fighting. Um, so we want to. We have something to prove this game, just to come out there and you know show that you know just one loss, you know, it won't, you know, it won't affect us too much. Just got to grow from it. Uh, like I said, the next game is going to be the biggest one that we got on the schedule. It's Marquette. So, you know, keeping the same preparation, moving forward, and uh, looking forward to that one. So excited about this! I got my blue and gold tie on. I'm a proud Marquette alum. I know I'm in dangerous territory. Looking forward to that one. 3:30 tip. Well, hey, Chris Middleton was back in the Bucks lineup last night. Just in time to take on the Lakers. He made his season debut. This one was good going in late, and here you can see LeBron James. It's a big three late. That one will help the Lakers beat the Bucks. Milwaukee Falls 133 to 129. Good to see Chris Middleton back out there for the Bucks. Well, coming up next, a one-of-a-kind house in England. We're gonna tell you all about it just ahead. Celebrate a decade of thanks with us. At Geo's Garden Holiday Party. Live December 9th at Goodman Community Center and streaming worldwide. With fun and fundraising to help families of kids with special needs. Find all the details at geosgarden.org. Toyota Thon is on. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid. RAV4. Tundra. And more. Magic. Right now, during Toyotathon, get 3.49% APR for 48 months on a new Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Never have I ever toured in a rock band. Yep, I play a mean air guitar. 
Never have I ever burnt a holiday dinner. <laughs> I have no reservations about making reservations. Never have I ever put literally every single item in our store on sale, even the items that never go on sale. Every item? Oh, come on. Join us now through December 24th for our never on sale sale. Only at Rogers and Hollins. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. Attention all women who have been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. If you or a loved one used talcum powder for routine feminine hygiene and later suffered from ovarian cancer, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. The use of talc-based powders has been linked to ovarian cancer. Call right now. Call 1-800-982-8758. The holidays can be a busy time of year. Well, I'm going to let you in on my gifting secret for a stress-free holiday season. Nothing says happy holidays like a gift you make yourself. Just add those personal touches to really make it special. And you don't have to be a professional to spread holiday cheer. Gifting has never been easier with holiday scratch games from the Wisconsin Lottery. With prices ranging from $1 to $20, they're available now at Wisconsin Lottery retailers. Yum, yum! <laughs> original immersive Van Gogh exhibit is now open at Lighthouse Art Space Madison. Get lost in the sights and sounds of this completely spectacular, vivid, and breathtaking immersive art experience that ABC calls absolutely stunning. The New York Times raves that the original immersive Van Gogh exhibit is a must-see, lavish, artistic festival. Tickets available now at VanGoughMadison.com. Happy Holidays from all of us at WISC-TV. Finally this morning, it's every kid's dream, drawing all over the walls all day long. I'm sure some parents out there would disagree. A British artist has turned that into a reality. CBS's Ian Lee traveled to Kent, England to see the one-of-a-kind Doodle House. This is the splash room. Rarely do childhood dreams come to life. The splashes are like portals to Doodle Land. But walking around Sam Cox's house is like stepping into the funny pages. So this trail of doodles you can see on the floor. Like a lot of kids, Sam spent his younger years scribbling on walls. I got in trouble for drawing on the walls. I had this dream of doodling over a whole house and living in the house. And now you bought your own house, and so you can draw on all the walls. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Known in the neighborhood as Mr. Doodle, every inch of his 12-room mansion is covered in quirky creations, from floor to ceiling. Some of the clouds are filled with doodles. To every nook and cranny. Is that a working fireplace, then? Yeah, it is. Every doodle is deliberate. Each room has a theme. This is uh, the computer room. It reminds me of Tetris. I quite like seeing the, the doodles on the keyboard because it kind of makes me think that there could be a doodle language one day. This is the uh, ensuite. Sam's art gives a whole new meaning to drawing a bath. Have you bathed in this bathtub? Uh, not yet, no. <laughs> yeah. The house has taken two years to create, each stage captured in stop motion, and he's still doodling. The chandeliers are quite a tricky thing to do. When all the doodling's done, Sam will move into the monochrome mansion with his wife, Elena. And when Sam told you he wanted to live in a doodled house, what was your reaction to that? I don't know, maybe I'm weird. Maybe somebody would be scared of that. But I found it cool. So to draw a conclusion, dreams of any shape and size really can come true. Ian Lee, CBS News, Kent, England. <sighs> That's not for me. No, but, not hey, for me either. Good for them. All right, <laughs> one more check of the weather. Well, it's just going to be cold today, but more seasonal tomorrow. So once we get past today, it should be good. 30s near 40 tomorrow. The next chance of rain or snow comes Monday. Not any travel impacts expected from that at the time. All right, it's a cold one. Hope you bundle up. Hey, if you're watching the soccer, the U.S. kicking off in just a few minutes here, right at 9 o'clock. That's exciting. Marquette Madison, uh, that's coming up at 3.30. Then we got Bears Packers tomorrow. A lot of good sports this weekend. We'll see you tomorrow.